What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Nap and Row Show. I'm here with my compatriot partner in crime, Rose. Say hi, Ro. Hi, kids. And welcome back to the podcast. Yeah. I did it with a podcast up at the end. Try to change it up. Because if I don't, yeah. I'll just do the same thing every time, and then people are expecting I got to change it up somehow, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a. I'm a just stay how I am. Stay how. Stay. Stay cool. <laughs> cool. Collected. <laughs> so, what are we talking about in this podcast short row? Well, this is your uh, friendly reminder that Sunday is Mother's Day, and you should uh, thank your mother for all that she's done for you. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Get some flowers or some chocolates for mama. Something. Yeah. So what do yeah. you get your mom? Like, I mean, do you get to change it up, too. Like, you're talking about uh, changing it up, right? So. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, um, I've i gotten her plants before because she likes to... She likes hanging plants. Um, and she's got some... Uh, a couple hooks on her porch that she can hang them from, and then she also has this like metal thing that's in the yard that she hangs things on. So I've gotten her kind of hanging baskets before. That's nice. Um, I usually would go. I might. Mean, I'll go with her, and you know, maybe pick them up before actual Mother's Day. Um, so I've done that a few times. Gotten her some uh, yard decoration, decorative type of thing. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I've taken her to. Like the movies before when movies were open. <laughs> um, they still aren't open here. Uh, you can't even rent them? Well, you can, but I mean, she likes to go out. I, I don't know why she likes to go out to the movies because uh -huh. she falls asleep halfway through them anyway <laughs> <laughs> because they're, they're like the recliner chairs. And so she's like passed out. Then she'll wake up halfway through. She's like, what's going on? I'm just like, oh, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um,. But this year, I, I was I hosted a, a pamper chef party, and I had some extra, like free money to spend. I had a really good party, and I didn't need all that stuff, and so um, I kind of let her go on a little shopping spree. So Ooh. she got upgraded some kitchen stuff from Pamper Chef, which is which is nice. So uh, she got her Mother's Day like super early, for like a month, month and a half ago. So. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, as kids, I think we, we would make breakfast for her in bed and. Um, or just breakfast for all of us and, and do that on a Sunday um, and make her, you know, homemade cards, of course. But uh -huh. yeah. What do you do for your mom? So for my mom, it's it's interesting. You know, you always get the flowers, the, the typical mm -hmm. stuff like that. So yeah, I have this thing that I like to do, and it's not always just for Mother's Day, but Mother's Day has always been a fun time to do it. So mm -hmm. I love sneaking up wherever my mom is, not mm -hmm. telling her I'm coming and surprising her. I've seen a couple of videos of those. There, yeah, there very... were a couple of those. Yeah, yeah. and I remember, yeah. and this is it was absolutely hilarious. We go in, my dad opens the door, and he goes, "You sucker!" Like not F, <laughs> but with an S, right? right. Like right. you yeah. sucker, and it mm -hmm. was hilarious. But she was <laughs> like three doors down away; she couldn't hear anything. She only right, knew that the right. doorbell had rang, and my dad went to open the door. Right, right. So we go back there, and then it's it's historically something she does when we go down there. That she makes these pumpkin <laughs> cookies, which is like this famous type, mm -hmm. you know, pumpkin with this special drizzle and all that. We right, love it. Right. It's so good. Yeah. And yeah. so I thought, okay, I'm just going to yell at her. Why aren't there any pumpkin cookies? So I go there. I do the <laughs> one, two, three. Open back the door. I say, why aren't there any pumpkin cookies? And all <laughs> she says is, she goes, holy shit. And just started screaming. Yeah. It was yeah. I think I've seen that video. Yeah, She's I repost like, that every time it comes here? around. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, so I, I love, love surprising them. I mean, yeah. any occasion mm -hmm. I get to. But you know, I think we took her out one time. We were down in uh, Greensboro. We went to. It was either Raffle Dini's, or it was a uh, another vineyard called. Uh, Childress. So Childress has in like the race car driving okay. team owner. Him. He owns sure. the vineyard. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Hon honestly, so far it's probably my famous. I like Raffle Dini's too if you're listening. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I, I just like Childress. It's a little bit more commercialized, bigger sure. stuff, all that stuff. But yeah. And, and uh, we go there, take mom out, and just enjoy. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. It was just fun. You know, it yeah. just, I, I wish there was some big extravagant thing that we can do but it's really mm -hmm. just just for my mom it has always been the simple things mm -hmm. so no you don't have to do this let us go ahead and do that for you 
right, hey, we're right. going to take you out to dinner. We're going to do this. You know, it mm-hmm, was just, mm-hmm. hey, it's about you. It's all about you. Whatever that was, we yeah. tried to do it. So sure. it was never the same, but there's, like I said, there's always flowers mm-hmm. and all that jazz. Yeah. But, sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So, Good. and now within the families, you have mm-hmm. like brother's wife and then my sister yeah. and then Stephanie mm-hmm. and then yep. this yep. cousin, that cousin, aunts, uncles, All the moms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's a big one. I want to give a big shout out and love to my grandma, Donna. So grandma Donna is awesome. We love her to death and happy Mother's Day to you. Yay. Yeah, I would call her. Because without them, you wouldn't be here. That's right. So that's what I always tell my grandma too, like because she had four boys, and then there's a lot of grandkids out of those four boys, and now they're having kids. So our family is just getting huger, you know, by the year. And every time we get together, it's just this big group of people. I think if everybody were together, it'd be over thirty people. Holy wow! That's just with like, yeah, just yeah. And so every time I get together for any family function, it's always like, uh, th- look at what you did. Like, you started this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is why this family is so big. Yep, yep. <laughs> and we, we would just joke about it and have a good time with it. So, Like, do uh, the big family traditions, you guys all get together and... Yeah, so, I mean, with COVID, it really hasn't. Uh, we haven't gotten together. Usually we get together for, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Uh, my mom usually hosts the 4th of July party, and, and about half of them usually come to that. Um, it's in the summertime, so a lot of them travel, too. But I was uh, fortunate enough to grow up with having my aunts and uncles around and my grandparents around. Mm-hmm. So we were able to see cousins and everything all the time. Um, but with COVID, uh, we haven't. Although my sister got married in October, and my cousin got married in June of last year. So June and October, we had two family weddings. And everybody came, for the most part, um, to that. So... That kind of made up for not seeing them at the holidays, but uh, yeah, we're hoping in the future, yeah, things will be okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a big favorite thing of mine is surprises, mm-hmm. and you, we just talked about yeah. that, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to challenge all of you, all people, this Mother's Day. So it's probably the day out, so you can't really plan that much. But right, right. <laughs> I'm going to challenge you all. To go above and beyond what you typically will normally do and make it extra super special for your mothers this Mother's Day. If you have a a wife, that's cool too. Sisters, that's cool too. But I'm specifically saying your mother, Mm -hmm. whoever your mother is, (laughs) go above and beyond. Right. Do something. Or the mother special. figures. Mother figures. If you know your mother has passed away and you were raised by your aunt. Yep. Just whomever is a is a wonder wonderful motherly figure in your life that supports you and cares for you and has helped you become the person you are today. You know, definitely give them an extra shout out. Yeah. Um. This weekend. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. couldn't agree more. You know, it's. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's very much underutilized at times because people are like, mm-hmm. "Oh well, you know, it's just the Hallmark holiday. Right, and I guess right. we'll do it." Mm-hmm. Blah 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 blah. Like, yeah. yeah, you should you know, appreciate your parents every single day. I get it. Yeah. But you know, if if you wanted to actually have one day, we can really go above and beyond and have an excuse right. to do it. <laughs> there you That's go. Great. It's on Sunday. (laughs) It's on Sunday. This Sunday. That's right. Don't forget. (laughs) All right. Well, that concludes this episode of Nab and Row Mother's Day Edition Shorts. If you guys like this, go ahead and jack the like button right in the nose. Don't forget to tell your friends and family all about the Nab and Row show. And the podcast is a wrap. Till next time, kids.